What's up everybody, this is Diego, also known on Xbox Live as Vigaku, and on YouTube as Vigaku86, here doing my Let's Play of Dante's Inferno. And I know what you're thinking, didn't you already do a Dante's Inferno walkthrough? Well yes I did, actually. But this is a little bit different. This is actually a walkthrough of Dante's Inferno, the prologue chapter, which just came out recently, Dark Forest. So... It's something that hasn't been seen before, unless of course you already downloaded it, but it's a new chapter. It just recently released this past uh, Friday. It's a DLC that you had to purchase through uh, the marketplace. Yeah, right here. Dark Forest. And I'm going to put it on Zealot, which is normal mode, and I'm going to use my regular costume. For some reason, the Dark Forest won't let you use the Crusader costume. I don't know why that is. But this chapter also does come with a new costume, which is the Disco costume. Or as I like to call it, the Saturday Night Fever costume. At the midpoint on the journey of life, I found myself in a dark forest. For the clear path was lost. Alright, and here is one of the new enemies. The Forest Siren. Uh, let me change something. You don't get any of your relics. You get a new relic, which you can actually use in the main story mode. But, and you get all your magic, but, but you don't get the other relics. And uh, you're uh, upgraded to the fullest on both holy and unholy side. So anyways, this uh, this new enemy, the Forest Siren, she fights just like the Temptresses and the uh, Seducers, you know, she uh, the only difference is that she doesn't have a tentacle attack, but she does have that little thing where she like, projectile attack where she catches you with it and hypnotizes you, uh, and then they can, they can uh, dash all your moves and then do uh, claw attacks, but, oh, I don't know why you can, uh, but other than that, you know, they fight just like the, uh, the Temptresses very similar. So it's the best to like uh, knock them into the air and do air combos in there. It'd be cool if I had my uh, horseshoe relic and maybe my demon wing relic. relic. I'd really love to use that. But the new relic that they give you, um, which like I said, the new relic, you can actually take it to the main game with you, which is nice. Um, that new relic it, um, it decreases the use of mana, meaning that whenever you use the magic attacks, um, you won't use that much of the bar compared to as if you didn't have it equipped. So that's really nice. Really good for like divine armor. Heretics, of course, you would have seen them in the main game. They haven't used it at all. Speaking of divine armor, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Oh, he's back. This I played this mode on uh on Hellish and Inferno. It's really difficult. Gotta do air combos a lot. Don't want to get hit at all. Oh. Didn't really want to do that move. Trying to do that. Ah, yeah. When they throw that little projectile at you, you end up in the you in the air. It'll like hit you and it'll mess up your combo. That sucks. Kind of. That's actually kind of new for the four sirens. The the tempestries. They don't mess up your combo when they hit you. You said I don't remember that before. Ah. Alright, it's a pretty long battle, but it's okay. Dante, I knew you'd come. Beatrice, is that you? What's happening? I will send the poet to guide you. 
You must hurry. Beatrice, don't be afraid. I am coming home for you. We should fear only that which has the power to harm us. I am made such by the grace of God. Hurry, Dante. Yeah, this DLC doesn't really have cutscenes, just conversations. Okay, we got a puzzle right here. Uh, the moon is gonna shine, and then from the north, and then I gotta go east. Okay, there's two flying demons. And then the moon is shining north, so I go east. Gotta look at the direction it's shining. It's always shining in the north, no matter where. Even though it's on the west side, that's northern side, so I gotta go east, which is forward. Okay, this time it's shining from the south, but that's still considered north, so I go east, which is left. And it's doing it again. It's shining from the south, but that's the north. Whoa, and I gotta go east, so I go to the left. Alright, puzzle number one finished. In paradise, there is a gracious lady who has such pity that some rules may be broken. She is called Lucia. Look for her in your future journey. Who is she? Saint Lucia of Syracuse. She visited me and said, Beatrice, Dante bears you such love that he left that vulgar throng. They spoke true. Then why such cowardice in your heart? when these blessed ladies watch over you. It's kind of weird to see that they didn't actually draw Beatrice's nipples on this. I don't know why. They didn't have time to do it, I guess. And they didn't have time to, like, move her mouth. Because they probably, you know, try to rush this DLC as fast as they could. It's kind of weird. Just, you know, not seeing Beatrice's nipples. Or seeing her mouth move, for that matter. But it's okay. It doesn't really, it doesn't really take anything away. And this enemy right here, he's new too. Um, he fights just like a regular one of those guardian demons from the main game. Only difference is you can't knock him into the air. Well, you can, but it's really hard. And he doesn't really get knocked down too much. He doesn't get thrown off in the air or knocked down too much. So that's what makes it kind of difficult. He just pretty much just takes your hits. And that's it. He just takes your hits. And you just got to keep on hitting him and like staying away from him. Don't try to keep on hitting him too much, otherwise he'll keep on like countering you or something like that. And of course fighting these guys with four sirens around isn't too easy either. So it's best to like do a couple of hits on these guys and you know then try to like see I knock him through the air but it's one of those rare things. Sometimes he just knocks him through the air, sometimes he doesn't. So uh yeah, you just gotta keep on, oh, you gotta keep on doing your hits, divine armor time, do your hits, and, uh, try to back away with your projectiles, crosses, that's a good tactic, just hit a couple of times, and just use a cross attack, the sirens, try to take care of the sirens as quickly as possible, too, because they can be, uh, a real hindrance if you're trying to fight these guys and sirens at the same time. Heads up! Uh, and heads up! Oh my! Crusaders! Well, I'm just gonna charge up my cross. Yeah. Take that. Yeah. Oh, he's dead already? Alright, I'm just gonna put on a redemption. Redeem yourself. Time's up. Ooh, we got the Crusader too. Ah! Ha ha ha! 